This is Series 1, Episode 88. Today is the 7th of November 2021, and this is my weekend stock market update. In this video, I'm going to talk about the general market conditions, I'm going to talk about these notes here, and then I'm going to go into a specific sector, that is the electric vehicle sector. I can see some lovely setups, I was talking about the EV sector last week, but now I can see some nice setups and I know that earnings is around the corner for some of these stocks, which could be the catalyst to move them higher or lower. So if you're interested in my analysis, guys, please stay tuned, and I'll try to explain everything as simply as I can shortly. Everything I talk about in this video is for informational purposes only. If you decide to act upon that information, that is your decision. You are responsible for all of your trading decisions. So before I start talking about this, I've got to be blunt and say, if you're not making money in this current market, then you're in the wrong stocks. It's as simple as that. You should be making very good money in this bullish market. So bear that in mind, guys. If you're not making money, you need to be changing your stock portfolio quickly. The markets change all the time. Sometimes they look bearish, sometimes they look bullish. We're in a very strong bull market, and some of this news here is, is the reason we're, we're seeing such strong moves. So I'm talking about the American markets in general because the American markets lead the world markets. So the Fed said they would not raise interest rates until late next year. Very, very positive. There were 531,000 jobs added in October, and the unemployment rate was down to 4.6%. Uh, interest rates fell, which has, has had a positive impact for investors' fears around inflation. That's kept people calm for now. And also, the Q quarter three earnings reports that are coming out for so many stocks is really, really positive. And finally, the infrastructure bill was passed by the US government, which will give a further injection to the economy. So very, very positive, bullish news across the board for the market. But the price was telling us that um, previously, and, and I, I mentioned it three weeks ago, so it looks like we're turning bullish now. So let me talk about the market. So this is a NASDAQ daily chart. Um, this is where I, I saw the turn, and I've talked about that, that point there, and we've been bullish ever since. I'm definitely expecting to see a breather. We haven't seen it yet. Any strong move like this, you'd expect a bit of a pullback. So we should expect a pullback very soon. Well, maybe not. Who knows? But that kind of move, you would definitely expect a breather. So the Dow Jones, very bullish again. And the S&P 500, very, very bullish. Nothing to say, but we're in a bullish mar bull market. Simple as that. So I said I'd talk about a sector, the, the electric vehicle sector. So let me go in, start talking about that now. I'm going to speak about specific stocks, guys. I'm going to start talking about Lucid Group. I talked about it last week. Um, I can't see a safe entry here at the moment. It's too volatile, this stock. But what I'm saying, guys, is add this to your watch list. I did say this last week. If we can get a pullback... And price is starts to hold, you know, thirty dollars around thirty dollars. That could be a very nice opportunity to buy this stock. So get Lucid Group on your watch list for the future. You could obviously this looks like it's trying to break out again. You could buy it. That's up to you. I'm not buying it because it's too risky for me. I like to get safe entries. Now I want to talk about Nikola Corporation ticker symbol NKLA. I don't know if you all know about this company. They they are surrounded by controversy at the moment but or historically they've been and they uh, they've had an investigation but the news has just come out that they're going to pay a fine to the SEC 125 million dollars and uh, that's had a positive impact on the stock and also earnings came out here on the fourth very very positive so let me try and analyze this a bit more because I think we should also get this on our watch list if we can see price down back down at eleven dollars fifty, there could be an entry point there. I'm not saying there is at the moment, but we have this very very short strong resistance line across here at around eleven dollars fifty. You can see we broke out on volume because of the earnings and the SEC investigation. Positive for the stock, and the, obviously the general theme with EV stocks at the moment is positive. So I think that you should get this on your watch list also. Ticket symbol NKLA. And we should be watching around $11.50 for a potential buying opportunity in the future. Very volatile stock. Uh, look at that, down 15% on Friday. But look at the previous day. It's a bit mental, that stock. So but I just want to get your eyes attuned to this stock because I think we should be watching it down there. 
like I said, $11.50. Next stock, NEO. Uh, I've talked about NEO many times. I own NEO personally. Now, I want to explain what I'm seeing on NEO. So, bearing in mind that we're in a positive industry at the moment, EV motors are very, very strong as, we, as I'm doing this video. I can see a what appears to me is a basing pattern starting to form on NEO. Now, like I said, I do own NEO. This might end up turning into a cup and handle. I don't know, guys. I, don't, I can't predict the future, but that is definitely forming a base. So bear that in mind, first of all. Secondly, on Tuesday, November the 9th, 2021, earnings is due on NEO. So we know there's a base. Well, I believe that base is forming. Could be very positive. Let me get rid of that. I'm going to zoom in slightly, just so I can explain a bit more. Now, I talked about this last week. I said that... Um, it looked like a kind of bullish flag formation was forming across here and I talked about this volume spike uh, and it looks like guys that we're, we're actually breaking out of a flag pattern there you see here and volume increasing and we don't know that earnings is due on Tuesday the 9th so a couple of ways you could trade this now uh, as I said this is up to you what you do with any trade you could look at this as a longer term position, which is what exactly what I'm doing with NEO, and buy on Monday if you wanted to, around $40 if you, if you can get it, and just hold it as a position trade for, for a long period of time. And obviously re remember your risk management. Because that earnings report that's due out on Tuesday could be the catalyst to move this much higher. Of course, it could go lower. Let me zoom out just so you can see the much bigger picture here so there's NEO on the bigger time frame one, each bar is one week's worth of price action there's that drawing I just did you can see the potential on this stock is huge a lot of eyeballs are on this stock earnings is due on Tuesday do you want to buy this? up to you guys You could another way you could play this is take the trade on Monday for example put your stop loss there I know if it goes down there you're out but like for me, I'm just in this stock and I'm just holding it. And it's a certain percentage of my portfolio. If it if it goes up, it makes me money. If it goes down, then I'm just going to hold it. And uh, if it goes to zero, then I lose a specific percentage of my portfolio. And that's it. But it shouldn't, hopefully. Bearing in mind, the general theme for electric vehicles is very positive at this moment. So I'll try to give you hints about actually <laughs> saying too much. Next stock, Chinese EV stock again, ticker symbol XPEV, XPeng. I've talked about this previously last week as well. I'm drawing in this resistance line here, it's, it's obvious why. Look, prices hit this level before, back here as well. It's a key area. Well, it's about $45 that, that level. So, so you know that why that line's there. So now I'm going to delve deeper, show you what I'm seeing on this stock. So I've come down to a daily chart and let me show you. I'm just going to get rid of some of that mess. Again, a, look at, so it, price has come up to this major resistance area and it's holding there. It's forming a, a consolidation, like a flag again. It's consolidating. You see that? What I mean by consolidating is it's just going sideways. So I'm going to give you another trade idea. Earnings, the earnings report for this stock is due on November 23. So, could that be the catalyst to move this higher? Possibly. Let me just remove some of this. You know that consolidation is there. I'm going to say a trade idea. Uh, it's up to you if you act upon that information. If, you, if we can take out this high here, by 10 cents, I think that is a buy signal because you can take the potential breakout there because you know that price is at that high it, it often when price reaches a major resistance like that you should you'd see a sell off but there isn't there isn't a sell off it's holding at that level earnings is around the corner you've got that nice consolidation so if we take out that high by 10 cents i think that's a confirmed buy signal that high 
plus 10 cents is $49.65. That is the buy point for me. $49.65. Now again, you could look at that as a position trade, hold it, or the safer way to play that one would be, you, 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 let me just do that again. You have this price action here. You know that there's these low points around here. I would say that if you see price down at around $40, thereabouts, you, if it drops down there, then just forget it if you wanted to trade this shorter term. But this, to me, if we can break that high, I've already discussed the high, and I will put this in the comment section. section. But rate that high by 10 cents, that is a confirmed buy for me, and it, and it could break out. Up to you how you play these stocks, guys. I'm just giving you ideas. This does look very nice. The fact that it's holding at that resistance, it's not falling away, and the trend on EV stocks is very positive at this moment in time. The final stock I'm going to talk about is, I talked about this last week, the auto ticker symbol LI. So I'm going to analyze this for you now, give you another trade idea on this stock. What I'm seeing here, guys, and I might not be doing this correctly, I haven't analyzed it fully, but just from looking at it from this weekly time frame, I can see a cup and handle forming. Here's your base, here's your cup, and there's your handle. The handle's more like that, but actually, let me just draw that again. Base and handle. So that looks like it's forming a cup of handle on the weekly time frame for Lee Auto, ticker symbol LI. Now again, earnings is due out for this stock very soon. I believe, let me just check my notes one second. I've, I've checked Yahoo Finance. The earnings says between the 11th and the 15th of November. So earnings is due on this stock also. We have this cup of handle situation. So this could be another trade op trading opportunity so I'm going to try and explain this one to you as well I'm giving you a lot of information today I hope it's worth my while <laughs> so I've come down to the daily time frame I've left that cover handle there just so you can see what I mean now I'm going to remove it and show you what how to trade this if you wanted to trade it now I'm not telling you what to do I'm just saying <laughs> I've got to cover myself all the time um, just saying how you might want to trade it first of all we know that earnings is out soon, uh, between the 11th and the 15th, as I said. Now, it looks like price is going to try and touch this $30 level, possibly. I don't know if it's going to, um, because it's a round number. And you can see, if you look to the left, that is a respected level, because you can see it's been hit along here many, many times before. So possibly $30. Doesn't mean you should buy it. It doesn't mean you should buy any of these stocks. I'm just, <laughs> I keep saying, saying it, don't I? Um, what I want to show you though is a possible idea. So let me get the right tool. Do, 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 do. Line. Take this. I want, all I'm going to do, guys, is take a line and marry it up to the different points where price has touched the line. Like so. Let me zoom out a little bit. Now, I think that this stock is going to try to get to $30, possibly lower. And we should be watching this stock. And what I want to see, guys, for this to be a valid trade is price eventually, I'm hoping, will poke its head through the trend line. So it might do this for a couple of days, I don't know, and then do this. If we see price poking its head through that trend line, that could be the catalyst to move it higher. And if I see it, I'm going to try and do a video, separate video on that. But I'm just trying to get you ahead of these, these trades before they move. So so if I just quickly draw, draw that cover and handle again, just so it all ties in nicely. There's your base. There's your handle. We're looking for a break of the handle, an aggressive entry could be perfect for ticker symbol li i've given you so much information today guys i really hope it's useful please hit that like button please comment please subscribe and as things develop in the markets guys i will do more videos and, and 
specific stocks like Lee Auto if I see it. A uh, really nice entry point. I will also do a video separately. But I've just given you a whole load of information there across the board about the general markets, about the EV motors, and I'll put as much information as I can in the uh, comment section just so you've got information about the earnings reports uh, so you can plan your trades if you wanted to take any of this. As always guys, I wish you the best of luck. Like I said, please comment, like and subscribe and I will do another video soon and I'm expected to do quite a few videos in the next few weeks because there's so much to talk about in the markets. Wish you the best of luck. Speak to you soon.